Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Sippin' on Gin Barrel Juice is a 10% double IPA from Grand Armor Brewing in Grand Haven, Michigan. From the small sample size of what I read online, barrel aging and IPAs really aren't two words that a lot of you are fond of. Founders has released two barrel aged IPAs this year and I, could, I think I could hear the collective groan of the internet when they announced those. Now don't turn this video off just yet, I have a barrel aged IPA, but this time the type of barrel that was used is a gin barrel. I'm not even about to sit here and, and tell you that I know a single thing about gin because I don't, but I think I know a thing or two about beer, so I'll tell you what I know about this one. It's hopped with Centennial Citra and Mosaic Hops and aged with Blood Orange. Uh, Citra and Mosaic Hops are really commonly used in New England styles, and Centennial is used more in West Coast styles because it's got a little bit of a higher bitter bitterness and alpha acid content. Now I'm really intrigued by this because when you wrap it all up and you, you get that gin barrel aging in there, it gets kind of, it could get a little different, right? So let's take a look at the can here and then we'll jump into this here beer. Uh, fun fact, the glob of toothpaste that goes on your toothbrush is called a nurdle. Now this is a really kind of um, maroon colored can. It has this dog who is on uh, against a brick wall and there's a blood orange behind him. I'm assuming it's supposed to be some kind of representation of like a representation of like Snoop Dogg and it says sipping on gin barrel juice he's holding this goblet that's jewel encrusted with some blood oranges in it and uh, again gin barrel juice sipping on gin barrel juice uh, right to bear craft and on the side here it says store cold drink fresh brewed and packaged by Grand Armory Brewing Company in Grand Haven Michigan which I mentioned before already and it gives a little bit more of a description it says gin barrel aged blood orange IPA and uh, yeah, so that's the can here for sipping on gin barrel juice. And I'm gonna grab a tulip glass here because uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. So let's go ahead and crack this one open. You can read more about Grand Armory at grandarmorybrewing.com. Says so right here on the can. And let's get a nose on this. Has a bit of a hoppy scent. I can get, I do get like an alcohol nose on it. Just wanted to mention as well, there's no date on this can. I, I reached out to Grand Armory a few months back. They said they were getting a uh, dating system, you know, for their canning line at some point, but uh, it just hasn't happened yet. So I, I would like to review a lot more Grand Armory stuff on the channel, but because I'm not sure when I go out and I buy it, now that it's here on the east side of the state, when I buy it, I don't know how fresh it is. I don't want to go and buy it if it's several months old, because there could be some stuff still sitting on the shelves, but Hopefully they'll get the dates on here soon. So pouring this, wow, it's actually uh, close to looking like, almost like an amber pouring out of the can here. And that probably has a lot to do with the, the blood orange that they use in here. And uh, that's got a really nice head to it. It's got about a finger, maybe a little less than a finger's worth of head. It's it's this orangey, coppery kind of color, more on the orange side. The, the head is really actually kind of sticking around quite a bit and it's not super compact. It's got some kind of larger bubbles on the edge here. Holding it to the light, I have a little bit of sediment floating in here. I picked this up on the west side of the state, actually, uh, in Rockford, Michigan. I'm not sure what the aging is. Again, there's no date on the can, but there is some sediment kind of floating in here, some kind of larger blobs, and I can actually see quite a bit holding it up to the light here. It's really thick, really hazy looking. Uh, I'm not seeing my hand through it, I'm seeing the shadow, but not much else. Again, a lot of sediment, not seeing a whole lot of carbonation coming up to the top, but the head's holding pretty steady there. So let's get a better nose on it here. I am getting kind of a spicy, uh, orangey scent in there. I'm definitely picking up orange. Smells more of like a, like a blood orange. I mean, it's not super citrusy, super orangey, but it has kind of like a caramely kind of orangey smell. Got a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of that, like I said, a little bit of a spicy note to it. Maybe that's a little bit of an alcoholness to it, but I'm ready to dive in. So cheers, everybody. That is really orangey. Has a really orange kind of bite up front. That blood orange taste really comes through very prominently through the front end. And 
and you get this kind of a peak of sweetness with that blood orange. Um, I think also that gin kind of mixes in there a little bit. Again, I, I don't really know much about gin. The taste that I'm picking up, I can only equate to being a gin taste. And as you swallow it, you get that bitterness on the tail end, kind of hangs around on the back of your tongue. It's got a bit of a citrus bitterness, but it also has a bit of a piney hoppy bitterness as well, which I'm thinking is probably more of the Cascade. And I think the sweetness is kind of enhanced, again, by that mosaic, by the citra that's in there. So it's got a really nice kind of blend of hops that gives you the sweetness, but also has a lot of a, a nice blend of hops that gives you a little bit of that bitterness on the tail end too. Seeing that this is 10%, okay, yeah, that gin kind of has that little spiciness, adds a little bit of a spiciness on the swallow. Being at 10, you know, saying that this is a 10% beer, it ranks up there. It's kind of high up there ABV content wise, right? So this is a double IPA. You kind of expect it to be a little bit more on that high end of the, the booziness or a little bit high end on the alcohol. It has a slight booziness to it. It's not overpowering. You can definitely taste it's in there. There's a lot of like 7%, 8% IPAs or just beers in general that I've had that it's masked really well. This, I think because the gin has such a, a spicy kind of bite to it, it's it's kind of enhancing that alcohol flavor a little bit. But yeah, overall, it's really good. It has a nice sweetness up front. It has that, you know, if you're into IPAs, if you're into IPAs for the bitterness, it has that in the tail end. It also has that spicy kind of kick with the gin. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I know of that's gin barrel aged, so it, it kind of adds a little different twist to it. It, it makes it... it makes it stand out from a lot, of, a lot of other barrel aged IPAs. You know, if you didn't say like, hey, this, if I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big gin guy. I don't know a whole lot about gin. The only thing I can say is that the taste that I'm getting that kind of has like a barrel quality to it is spicy. And I'm kind of saying, okay, that's the gin part, but I couldn't, I'd have to drink gin to be able to tell you Oh yeah, that's definitely a characteristic of gin. That's one thing I didn't research for this is that I don't really know much of what the characteristics of gin are. There are so many different kinds of gins. But I'd say if you're an IPA drinker and you're looking for something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, this is really good because you get that sweetness up front, you get that bitterness on the tail end, the hops, uh, the the kind of citrus bitterness, and that it's more of a piney bitterness at the tail end and the finish. You get a citrus kind of right up front, but then you get a lot of pine at the tail end and on the aftertaste. This would be one, if, if you're looking for something a little bit different on the double IPA front, this one would definitely satisfy that kind of craving because you're getting you're getting all that nice IPA kind of bitterness that you'd like to get when you're drinking an IPA, but you're getting that sweetness up front, you're getting that little extra kind of kick on the tail end with the gin. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, I'd say that Grand Armory sipping on gin barrel juice would, would fit the bill perfectly for you. All right, friends, that has been sipping on Gin Barrel Juice from Grand Armory. If you happen to find yourself in their tap room, mention you saw their video here. Let's get the word out there. Have you had this beer before? Do you have any particular barrel age style you like more than others? Maybe specific barrel type that you like more than others? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm here talking Michigan beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. The best part about it is it's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, some merch, custom Tiku glass, links to all the gear that I use on this channel, and a link to my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.